From child star to tabloid headline maker, let's take a look at what Amanda Bynes has been up to since her heyday. Amanda Bynes kicked off her professional career acting in commercials when she was just seven years old. Three years later, in 1996, she joined the cast of Nickelodeon's sketch comedy series All That. Bynes quickly became a standout among fans, which led to receiving her own spin-off series, The Amanda Show. Shall we begin? <laughs> Over the course of its three seasons, Bynes earned her fair share of critical praise, including four Kids' Choice Awards for Favorite Television Actress. After the show wrapped up in 2002, Bynes began her film career, starring opposite fellow child star Frankie Muniz in Big Fat Liar, followed by What a Girl Wants in 2003. While making and promoting those films, Bynes was also a lead on What I Like About You, alongside Jenny Garth. The show ran for four years before ending in 2006. However, it won a number of Team Choice Awards. The actor closed out the 2000s with a starring role in the film Hairspray and began the 2010s in Easy A. In June 2010, shortly before the release of Easy A, Bynes took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to announce her retirement from acting. She cited a loss of love for the craft as a reason for her early exit from the spotlight. A month later, Bynes reversed her decision, again using X for her announcement before deleting her account. She reactivated it later on. On April 6, 2012, news broke that Amanda Bynes had been arrested for driving under the influence. That story was followed by another on April 10, claiming Bynes was involved in a hit-and-run accident. Then, Bynes was charged with a second hit-and-run in August of 2012, as well as driving with a suspended license that September. In mid-2013, Bynes was arrested again, this time in New York on charges of reckless endangerment and marijuana possession. Two months later, Bynes was placed on psychiatric hold after starting a fire in the driveway of a neighbor's home. Also in 2013, she feuded with Courtney Love, Paris Hilton, and Jenny McCarthy on X. In 2014, she used the platform to publicly accuse her father of physical, emotional, and sexual assault. She would later recant those claims, claiming a microchip implanted in her brain caused her to make these serious accusations. Bynes closed out the year by announcing she had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and manic depression, sharing a reason for her headline-making behavior. She has continued to seek out treatment for her mental health, even voluntarily checking herself into a psychiatric hospital in 2023. Amanda Bynes remained relatively quiet for several years after the chaotic period of 2012 to 2014. She eventually sat down for an interview with Paper in 2018, during which she apologized for her past behavior. She also shared that she had been sober for four years. As she began her road to recovery, Bynes enrolled in the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. She earned her associate's degree in 2019 before entering another program at the school. She would eventually take to Instagram to pitch her dream of making a clothing line to her followers. In her post, she said, I'm really looking forward to starting my clothing line, and I'm hoping that in the near future, it will be out online. In her paper interview, Bynes expressed an interest in returning to acting one day. However, in 2019, she briefly returned to rehab after an apparent relapse. After that, the former actor became active on Instagram. There, Bynes revealed a heart tattoo on her face and a septum piercing to match. She likewise announced her engagement to Paul Michael. However, they have separated since then. The couple also shared news of a pregnancy, though her lawyer announced two months later that the actor was not pregnant. In April 2021, Bynes's lawyer also spoke with people ahead of her 35th birthday telling the magazine that she was doing well, living by the beach while attending school, and partaking in meditation and cycling classes. Okay, find your center. Good, that's it. In March 2022, a judge ruled a conservatorship Amanda Bynes' mother, Lynn Organ, had maintained for the prior nine years was no longer necessary. Initially, Organ and Bynes' father, Rick Bynes, had arranged for this conservatorship after the notorious driveway fire incident in 2013. Amanda Bynes' lawyer praised her parents for the support they provided her during those nine years. However, their intent was always to end the arrangement once Bynes seemed capable of taking care of herself, which they determined was feasible in 2022. Unfortunately, the end of this conservatorship didn't exactly kickstart the Hollywood comeback that many may have anticipated. Like with any popular actor who hasn't been on the big screen in a while, fans have speculated on a return to acting for Amanda Bynes. Her last major role was in the Emma Stone comedy Easy A back in 2010, and since then she has not appeared in any films or television roles at all. 
many are eagerly waiting for Bynes to have an on-screen comeback since her acting and comedic talent made her a standout back in her heyday. So, any news about her return has been met with excitement from fans. One big rumor going around was that Amanda Bynes would participate in the All That reunion. That was set to happen between March 2023 at an event called 90sCon. Bynes spoke to people at the time to discuss how excited she was for the opportunity by saying, I'm really excited to reunite with my castmates and meet the fans at 90sCon. Sadly, this did not end up coming to fruition since she had to cancel her convention appearance, so the All That reunion continued without her. Speaking about Bynes to Entertainment Tonight, her former All That co-star Kel Mitchell said, It's awesome to see she's doing better, which is great. We're just continuing to pray for her on her journey, and it's answered prayers that she's doing a lot better. While Bynes hasn't made her return to acting just yet, there's always a chance she could return at some point. If you or someone you know needs help with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741-741. Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI-6264. Or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website.